I first got involved in boxing, um, I followed my brother to the gym, my younger brother Gamal. He started boxing before me and a couple of weeks later I was soon in the gym. I remember my first club coach, he mentioned the name Franco Sullivan before, but he told me what a bad man he was. <laughs> <laughs> when Khalid came to me, he was a little fat kid, to say the least. Um, Boxing in, you know, well above his weight, um, but he was keen, very, very keen, very attentive, and very well mannered. I didn't believe I had any talent at all. I just kept going and going, no matter how many times I got beat or Frank showed me everything that I know. So it's definitely hats, hats off to Frank. My job as a coach is to get the best of whoever comes in here. I've got to get the best of their potential out of them in terms of skill and fitness. And in order to do that, then we've got to gen together more or less. He's got to believe in what I'm saying and I've got to believe in what he's sort of giving back to me, you know. So once we start down that avenue, then that's the beginning. Frank's greatest quality is probably his calmness, you know. I've never really experience him going, going mad or raising his voice in a fight in the corner or anything like that. You get a lot of coaches that just jump in and do this shouting, you know, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, this is what you got to do. And you don't, you don't take half of it in, especially with the atmosphere you're in. So when, you, when you've got somebody who's really calm and he's going through it with you slowly, you can take it in and you know what you're saying, you're understanding it. You can teach anybody to box and they will reach a certain level. But to go beyond that level, then, you know, there, there are a, a lot of other aspects that sort of come into being. The best piece of advice Frank's ever given me is um, hands up, chin down and side on. <laughs> That's the best advice I've had, I think. <laughs> um, it's the basics, really, but, yeah, it's definitely the best, best advice I've had. The training facilities in Sheffield, you know, they're amazing facilities, one of the best gyms in the world. It's a million pound gym, so it's got everything you need, but it's, I prefer to train here. The atmosphere is completely different to the one in Sheffield. Um, it's a proper gym. It's the smell of it, you know, when you look around, it's an old school gym. The bags feel nice when you're here. It's, we, we have brand new bags and brand new rings in Sheffield, it's not the same. So I prefer training out there. I've been coaching kids now and men for 55 years and I'm just as enthusiastic now and the passion is still there as I had when I first began. And I always look at it in three phases. There's yesterday's men, today's men and tomorrow's men. So that always I'm, I'm, I'm striding to look forward to the next group sort of coming through. You can't buy getting coached by someone such experience like Frank. Um, he's coached many champions and you know he's brought through a lot of talent so you know he's done very well with me and hopefully we can go even further and bring back the goal to Birmingham in twenty twelve.